This is Peggy Peck in New Orleans at the American Stroke Association. Stem cells, fascinating, intriguing words. Research presented here from investigators in South Korea suggests that stem cells taken from adipose tissues, fat cells in the gut, may in fact help repair stroke damage. Dr. Jeffrey Saver explains the Korean study to us. Dr. Saver? Sure. They uh, took adipose stem cells from two sources. In one of their two studies, they took human adipose stem cells and uh, gave them to rodents who had been given a, a stroke lesion. Um, and in the second study, they took the rodents' own autologous um, stem cells uh, out of adipose tissue and re-injected them uh, 24 hours after the stroke lesion. Uh, and they found in both uh, models that the uh, animals who received the stem cell injections had improved recovery uh, and uh, behavioral profiles than control animals. So this is an exciting study suggesting that an easily harvested source of stem cells, our own adipose tissue, are potential therapy for stroke. Interestingly, uh, they found uh, that the primary mechanism of action uh, of these stem cells appears to be a secretory bystander effect, not a, a direct neuronal um, conversion effect. The stem cells uh, did not seem to themselves differ differentiate into neurons, uh, but rather they did migrate to the injured tissue and uh, release a variety of cytokines that promoted neuroplasticity and repair by uh, the intrinsic brain surviving tissue. Dr. Saver, um, this is not the first stem cell study that's uh, been reported in stroke. Can you describe some of the other research with stem cells? A similar strategy has been done with bone marrow cells, uh, but that requires a bone marrow biopsy to access the cells. So this is a, a step even further forward in uh, trying to develop a minimally invasive, uh, safe way of harvesting the patient's own tissue for uh, neuro repair. But in terms of uh, clinical implications, this is, a, this is a long way from bedside, is that correct? Absolutely. This is uh, an early study in a rodent model, and there remains a lot of clinical trial work ahead before this becomes a potential therapy. Thank you, doctor. I'm Peggy Peck, MedPage Today.